moving remarks, but most of all, thank you for the exemplary life you have led and all that you have meant to those of us in Rochester. Our second recipient of the Frederick Douglass Medal this evening is David Kearns. In a moment, we will see a video recognizing David Kern's life. It's not diversity. It's David in his heart believing that at a base level, every single human being should have a chance. That mission of his is the one thing that stuck with me more so than anything. Because through the Kern Center, you see his mission. This honor for David is so appropriate, so absolutely right, spot on. When you first meet David Kearns, you say, he's the chairman and CEO of a company, because back then, there was a certain grandeur to the role. David would help and talk with anyone. David doesn't put on airs. He's a humble man, but he's also a fearless man. He had to be to run a corporation and take on a great challenge like America's public schools. David Kern has never run from a fight. As a matter of fact, he started one or two, uh, all for the good of the community and the good of his company. When he took Xerox from a bad place to winning the Malcolm Baldridge Award for quality. That helped David to understand the value of education. Visiting Japan, David had the foresight to see how crucial education would be for America's future in the global economy. He left corporate America to go into public service, to go serve. His friends told him not to do it. Uh, this was 1991. Here he was, the CEO of Xerox. He was at the peak of his leadership and education. I called him personally more than once and I'm not afraid to say I leaned on him pretty hard. I said your country needs you. He dealt with issues that went beyond the classroom. Conger. Learning in terrible facilities. <laughs> I went to a uh an old, segregated, dilapidated, overcrowded, double-sessioned high school. I used a plain geometry book in 1951 that had been used by a white student in 1935. They were not giving young, bright people the opportunities that they needed to make the state a successful entity. Just dumb. In some areas, up to 50% of our public high school students are dropping out. We have to level a playing field for all students. David didn't believe in just throwing money or technology at a problem. He made himself personally accountable for getting results. He didn't just dream about it. He made phone calls, he made office visits, he made speeches. He used the resources of his office and his place in corporate America to exert influence. Dave Kearns and relationships, I mean, with his family, with his companies that he has been so involved with, with his friends, with the citizens of the world, relationships is what Dave Kearns is all about. As I always say to him, um, he was raised a good man. You know, he was raised a good man in his soul. This is a man who is the perfect example of the Frederick Douglass Award. David pushes forward for the same reason that Frederick Douglass is. Not because it's a popular thing and not because he's going to benefit immediately from it, but because he understood and understands that it's the right thing to do. Thank you, Ms. Carnes, for your support and for your mission and the symbol that you represent. And I hope that one day that I can become an inspirational figure of some sort of greatness just like you are.
been asked if I would say a few words, and my bride, Shirley, is right here with me for several reasons. And I will mention one first, and that is that I have promised her I would be less than 30 seconds. I want to tell you, I've gotten a number of awards, and I've been proud, and I feel terrific, and hope my mother and father are looking down and so forth. This is the best award I have ever received. And I feel... <laughs> I am tied to the university. And as others have said, there is a lot to do. However, being involved in this has made me feel good. And being involved with the university and continuing to be makes me feel terrific. And I'm going to end by saying, my bride, Shirley, where are you? Right here. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in love with you. <laughs> Thank you for telling the world. <laughs> And I will walk off and say, this is my best friend. And thanks a lot. Let me thank all of you who joined us tonight. This is our effort to symbolize our bond with the community. The bestowal of the Frederick Douglass Medals will be an annual event at the University of Rochester. And I look forward to welcoming many of you in the years to come. When this university formally began with the inauguration of its initial president, Martin Brewer Anderson, he concluded his address with the remark, our work is but begun. When we celebrate the moral triumph of Frederick Douglass. Our work is but begun. The society he dreamed of, the society for which Dr. Walter Cooper and David Kearns devoted their careers is not fully here yet. We glimpse it. We see it. We know what it would be like. In recognizing Frederick Douglass, we commit ourselves to moving ever closer to that society. Ladies and gentlemen, conclude this evening with the words with which this university began. Our work is but begun. Thank you so very much for joining us.